Being in Monon and having the like rich diversity that we have, so people who just moved to the United States, um, it, there's definitely a higher level of poverty here than most rural communities in Indiana. So I think one of the problems that our community faces is access to resources. So we see some of those barriers and here kids don't have their basic needs met, like having coats or having meals seven days a week. So we, we definitely see a little bit of that here. I'm Kim Payne and I'm the plant clerk here at Monon U.S. Aggregates and I've been here for almost 10 years. We started the warming tree approximately 8 to 10 years ago. So originally we got the idea for the warming tree because my boys were going to the service. I didn't want them to forget where they were coming from. So we were doing a Christmas dinner at a church to serve families that can't necessarily have Christmas dinner on their own. They had a tree that had socks on it. So I thought it was a cool idea. So then I asked Sean if we could do something similar here, but do like hats and gloves and socks and scarves like to keep in the winter months. So I'm John Masterson. I'm the sales manager for Northern Indiana. Well, when I first started at U.S. Aggregates five years ago, I saw that first time for the holiday and I thought that was just the greatest thing. You know, where I came from in my past, they didn't do anything like this. This is ownership 100% by Kim Payne, who actually has taken his ball and ran with it, and it's what community participation is all about. We are Charlie and Melba with Hard Rock Drilling. We do all the drilling for USAG. One of our visits when I was drilling, uh, we were approached by Kim at the Monon office and uh, were invited to uh, be a part of her warming tree and it just sounded like a program that we wanted to get behind and be able to help the local community and we were in a position to be able to do so. My name is Sarah Stenson and I am the school counselor at North White Elementary School. I opened the box and I felt like Mary Poppins, like when she opens her bag and she just keeps bringing stuff out. I mean, there were coats, there were snowsuits, there were some backpacks, there were hats, there were gloves, and it just kept coming and coming. Uh, I had no idea you could fit as many coats as were in that box inside of a box that size. I was very fortunate one year, Kim let me hand some stuff out for her. We were busy. And I was able to take some to the schools, some to the churches, and you know, it's, uh, it's very welcomed and it's great to see the adults happy, but the biggest thing is when you see the kids. So it's when the kids come up and tell you thank you, whether they give you a hug or shake your hand, and you know, it's sincerity. I mean, I would say within two to three weeks, all of that stuff had already been given out to all of our students. So I was like, oh, U.S. Aggregates is a really integral part of, of keeping our kids safe and warm in the winter. When you're leaving work, and it's cold out and you see kids walking around with those same coats on, you have to smile just a little bit to think that they're probably walking around not freezing right now because they got something that they needed from the collection that the community put together. This has a huge impact on our community, a huge impact on our school and on our kids. I'm a firm believer in if we can have one person advocate for a child when they're young, then we're going to see the fruits of that labor when they're adults and we're going to have good people that come out of North White and good people that come out of Monon. And that starts with, you know, a coat or a hat or a pair of gloves. You definitely see and feel in a small town the gratuity of people when they're getting something like this. If you want to know that 100% of what you donated is 100% given back, this is a program to get behind.